second. Ah. When you follow a generic program, one size fit all, you are never going to tap into your genetic potential. It's impossible. That's why I don't like online training where you just give somebody something to do. It doesn't work. You guys know, everybody knows there's four different blood types. And yes, this is going to be about how your blood actually improve your workout or decreases your workout. Now, there's, everybody knows there's four different blood types. Is there only four? So we've been led to believe. But if you do your research yourself, you realize it's more like 300. But it's breaking down into four sections. So there's four sections, but it's over 300. So trying to figure out what section you fall under, that's what everybody focus on. So one of those sections, if for a man, and I'll discuss a woman in a later, for a man, if he has this particular one, um, I will show you, take you guys in another room and show you what I'm talking about. But if you have this particular one, erectile dysfunction is something that you would never have to worry about. But for a woman, if she has this one, she get pregnant more easily. So it's different how it works in men, it's different how it works in women. But it's very important that you understand how this thing actually works. So let me just grab this real quick. So one thing everybody should know is actually know their blood type. It is very, very important. Now, I take a lot of supplements. I'm in the process right now of making my weekly supplements. This is how I do it. Take out all my bottles and I'll make them. This is for the nighttime. This is for the daytime. So this is how I do my process. But there's one thing that's missing from all of this when you look at the internet. What people always talk about this stuff. But what is missing? Can you guess? What's not on that little table? Is it your at-home sperm count to see where your levels are? You don't have to run to the hospital to get this checked down. You could actually do it at home. Or is it knowing your blood type? Because everybody knows there's three different blood type categories. There's four different categories of blood type, but there's over 300 blood counts. So knowing your blood type is very, very important. Um, it will help you to make better decisions on what you eat it breaks it down. I will put a better description. I will put it down in the description and explain it more in better details. Um, this is a brief overall um, that I'm going to go over today. I will make a later video and explain uh, more benefits of uh, O-type blood, A, B, and even AB. Um, some is more dependent on others, but today it's going to be focused more on showing you guys what my blood type is and why I look the way I look. All right. Understanding your body is very important. Understanding your blood type is even more important. Because do you guys know, just by looking at your blood type, for instance, if ladies, if you're a type B, you're more fertile than if you're a type O. Because the simple fact is, you have more estrogen in your body if you're a type A, a type B, and if you're a type O, you have more testosterone. That's why the alpha females usually have more type O. And type B actually runs in packs. But I'm gonna come back to this and break this down some more, this little diagram. I'm gonna put most of it in the description below if you guys wanna read up on that some more. But the main purpose of this video is to break it down, show you guys what my actual blood type is and why I do certain things in the gym and why I do not do certain things in the gym. It's a really easy test you can do at home. So let's get started, get this out of the way, and then we'll come back to that and explain it some more. So, all right. So in this package you have, let me bring this camera down some more so you guys can see it. Now, understanding your blood type is very important, not just for workout, but if you're ever in a serious accident or you need blood transfusion, you gotta understand what it is and know what category you actually fall under. Now, what I choose to do is, um, before I even start training somebody or working out with somebody, the first thing I would do is, I'll say, here, before I exchange any money or any situation, 
I would say here, take this home. You know, so some people have some crazy ideas. Oh, in two months, I want to look like you. And you know, so you got to be like, okay, let's see if that's possible. Take this home. Let's get your blood work done. And I think that's the best way. A lot of times um, you hire these trainers and what they do is you, they'll start working out with them and then you realize, oh, I'm not growing. And the first thing they choose to do is they'll start changing your workouts. Well, this didn't work. Let's try something else. Or that didn't work. Let's try something else. When it's as simple as knowing and understanding your blood type and what you really need to do for you. Now, this is what it looks like and it's gonna tell you what actually your blood type is. So it's, it's a very accurate test. It's more like 98% accurate. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is 95% accurate. The one that you actually go um, to the hospital and have done, that's 98% accurate. But for the price, you know, and just for what we're trying to do, you're not in a life and death situation. You're just trying to be better at a sport or be more active or anything like that, then this is the way to go. Um, this is what I give all, all my clients. So the first thing you want to look at, this is how it comes, um, category, and it will tell you everything, the control, the A, the B, the D, and all of these circles come. So the first thing you want to do is sign the card, put your name on it, and fully blank out. Um, this is to actually prick your thing to get the blood out. So the first thing you want to do is get the water and you want to get let me get some water out and you want to put a circle of water into each one right in the middle right where the circle is so there's one in the blue and there's one in the yellow now is this red or pink it looks like it's pink and then there's one in the green so you want to put a drop of water in each one like there's not enough in this one okay a drop of water in each one then after that you're done now you have these four sticks this is the part that a lot of you know a lot of my customers come back and be like yo i can't do this you do it but you have these sticks and what you have to do now is actually all right so i just had to massage it some more all right there it is all right First one, let's put it right down there with the water. Get the other one, let's mix it. And again, I already know what my blood type is, so you know, I'm just gonna show you guys you could actually do this test at home. Or should I just tell y'all what my blood type is and just save the save this video? Alright, let's just get it out of the way. Come on. I'm not getting enough blood flow. Right, squeeze. Squeeze. Just if you guys hate the sight of blood, this is not the video for you. Come on. Yeah. Alright, so I choose to do some of that off screen because I'm not sure what YouTube policy is on you know, somebody jabbing himself and hurting himself because they might see this video and say, oh, he's trying to hurt himself. So basically, after I get, let me make sure I'm not bleeding anymore. Okay, I'm bleeding stuff. So after I get him in a circle, you just want to mix them up. And as you guys could see, while this is still drying, try not to use this, like you pick up one and you move it into all three. You don't definitely want to do that. You just want to move it around. Move it around and see the reaction. Let's see how well this thing is reacting. All right. So, by looking at this chart, you can see, you know, you come back and you look. Now you examine it and you're trying to say, I already know what, what, what my numbers are, but just for argument's sake, you look back at this chart and you come back and you see, you say, okay, am I an AB? No, definitely not an AB. Am I a B? Definitely not a B. Am I an A? Definitely not an A. Am I an O? I am definitely an O. You can see how it lined up. And I could go for my actual results from my primary care and show you guys, but I'm definitely an O. So my workout match what I do in the gym. So let's talk about the workout now and how to actually 
dissect this. Oh, by the way, when you finish this, you want to take off, this is like a clear plastic. You want to preserve this if you choose to, like for your future reference. What normally you would sign that card, I'm not gonna go through all that process. You'll sign it, date it, put all your information on it, and just a clear plastic. You wanna just put it right over it. Boom, to protect it, let it dry, and you have a permanent record, you know, you can keep in your car or keep wherever you wanna keep it to show that you are definitely a type O blood type. This is what it looks like when it's, um, when you first put it on but these are the end results. So, let's put this camera up now and let's talk about what's actually on the door. All right, so the reason why I want to do this blood work to show you guys, it makes a huge difference in what you're trying to do in the gym. So when you see me or you see somebody else and you see them doing a particular workout, it, it, you could run up to them and ask them a whole bunch of questions, but at the end of the day, it's going to depend on your body type and your blood type to actually know what you need to do actually in the gym. So for me, because I'm a type O, strong, athletic, I can take a lot of carbs, and I need workout to deal with, uh, that's how I deal with stress, anxiety, or anything that goes into on in my life. So, <laughs> when you guys see somebody in the gym and you said, man, that person is motivated. They're so focused. You know, they enter their workout. They don't talk, they don't do anything. They just like laser in. That's the reason why. It's really not that, it's how your body's actually build up. You're more focused. You're more alpha male and more alpha female. Most of them are actually type O. Now, type B, those are the people that goes in the gym and they have to be in groups. If they're not in a group and somebody motivating them to do it, they're not gonna do it. Um, type A, they love to talk. <laughs> That's all they do in the gym. They talk, they talk, they talk. You hear all the conversation and they're just in there to be in there to take pictures. And if you're A, B, you're more of a hybrid between A and B. I will go over everything more in the description below. And on a future video, I will dive into it some more and explain it some more. Because if for me, I was all these years, I'm trying to figure out why I can't absorb carbs, carbohydrates, the way a type B can. And it's not that, you know, my it's, it's, it's not that I'm not eating enough carbs, it's just the way my body's built up. So my body don't absorb as carbs as easily as a type B. But I don't want to make this video long. I will put the rest of it in the description below and explain it. And on a later date, I will come back and I'll dive into it some more. But yes, as you guys can see by this, it's still drying. But the chemical reactions prove that Nestle rodent is type O blood type. And that's the way I, that's why I look the way I look. That's why I train the way I train. You have to understand your body. It's not just as simple as saying, I'm going to do this workout because I see somebody else do it or I hear about it and it looks cool. No, you have to understand your blood type. That way you could change it up to your workout. Read the description down below. I'll explain it in some more details so you guys can fully understand it. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.